All right, big yobos, everyone. So uh, there's gentrification at its finest behind us. But I wanted to uh, talk real quick about the flyer. So in the flyer, you have an image of Tierra Nuestra. Shout out to uh, uh, South Bay Visions out there for the Flica. Uh, but uh, I wanted to speak on the mural. Uh, so that mural's been there uh, since 74, I believe. Uh, the mural is known as Tierra Nuestra. That's the neighborhood that it's in, the barrio that it's in. It's historic for many reasons. One of them is that uh, it was uh, a land that was purchased. They built these apartments uh, from the ground up by an organization known as UPA or United People's Arriba. Uh, Sophie Mendoza, which was a woman and proud Chicana during this era in time, uh, helped lead one of the first Chicano student walkouts out of San Juan Roosevelt Middle School, which is no longer here. Uh, low, um, Sonny Madrid, which was the founder of Lowrider uh, Magazine, was also part of that organization. The whole idea is that once you pay rent uh, there for 30 years, you then own your apartment. So uh, when we talk today about gentrification and all that, you know what I mean? It's important to understand the, the footsteps that were left before us, you know what I mean? Like the efforts of Tierra Nuestra by or, you know, an organization called UPA, you know what I mean? And and what they were trying to leave behind and why these murals are so important because they're supposed to tell us something, you know what I mean? They're supposed to give us a reason to be proud. They're supposed to give us a reason as to empower ourselves that, you know what, we want land and we want liberty, homie. So, um, you know, uh, I want to speak a little bit about Tierra Nuestra and shout out to everyone from Tierra Nuestra and Las Casitas out there. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can get your support as well. So I uh, hope to see you there tonight. Six o'clock is the rally. Six thirty is uh, we're going to be in council chambers. Gracias.